Lori. Hi, Lori. I just want to get an order of the new Cheesy Tots, please. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. What was that? I just want to get an order of the new Cheesy Tots, please. Oh, okay, yeah. And that's it? Alrighty, 212. Alright, thank you. You're welcome. 212 with tax, it's $1.99 plus tax. I'm gonna go ahead and park it. Here we go, the new Cheesy Tots from Burger King. Let's get on it. Are you gonna finish your Tots? Well, I probably will. The new Cheesy Tots from Burger King, they look really good you guys a dollar 99 of course the cheesy tots came out years ago and i just heard about them that they just came out from burger king the new cheesy tots let's do this quickly they're nice and hot one two three four five six seven eight i think everybody that's done a food reviews has counted there's always eight never nine never seven burger king must pre-package and ship these to ensure quality control thought that was a hair eight cheesy tots for two dollars not a bad deal take a look look nice and crispy in the sunlight they're about as big around as uh, Burger King's uh, little hash rounds I would say about the same size a little fatter stuffed with the cheesy goodness I think they're supposed to be uh, like stuff with like a cheese and potato mix I never checked out their Mac and Cheetos when they came out because something about macaroni stuffed inside of a fried shell that Burger King does just didn't appetize me. And I know a lot of people love the Mac and Cheetos. A lot of people talked about them. These are supposed to be a little bit different though. They're not containing macaroni or pasta or Cheetos flavor for that matter, or lack thereof. In the case of my Cheetos chicken fries from Burger King, you might've already seen the advertisements, Napoleon Dynamite. Coming to Burger King, looking for tots. You gonna finish those tots? They look pretty good. Let's go ahead and do it. First bite, big bite. Actually, I'm gonna make it kind of a small bite. I'm gonna make it a Bob from Food Use bite here. I got absolutely nothing there. No flavor whatsoever. Make sure you check out his channel too, by the way. It takes him two or three bites to kind of get into the flavor. Let me go ahead and end on it again. They're filled uh, with coarse bits of potato, very similar to a hash brown. In fact, it's probably really similar, if you're familiar, of course, again, with Burger King's uh, little hash rounds. It looks like they've taken those same little potato uh, crunches and cubes that they make up their hash rounds with for breakfast and added it in here. Now, there is a little bit of cheddar cheese. You can see it, the little yellow right there, but not a whole lot. Let's try another bite. Maybe we got a dud. Careful not to be too big of a bite. I can taste a little bit of the cheese. It's a lot of potato though. For two bucks, I think these would be great for kids. For me, however, they're lacking in a lot. First and foremost is the cheese. There's not a whole lot of cheese. It's definitely made up of more potato than anything, which I'm not surprised. Potatoes are cheap, cheese isn't. Although the cheese they're using here from Burger King probably isn't that expensive as it is. Let me rip one of these open here and not with my teeth. Oh, almost dropped them. That's BK Karma. Pop open into one of these cheesy tots. Let's take a look. You can see the cheese in there. I can already see it in the reflection of the camera. A little bit of yellow cheese, mostly potato, and that golden fried exterior crust. Of course, they're deep fried in their uh, french fry fryers, I assume. Cheesy tot from Burger King. They could have done so much here. But I also have to stay rational within the price range of $1.99, which as I see it, you can't even get a small French fry from Burger King. I think the small fries are like two and a quarter. For the value as far as Burger King goes, you are getting a lot of food here for $2. But as far as the taste, the execution, and what you're gonna expect here, don't expect a lot. There's a little bit of cheese, definitely mostly potato. That's about it. I mean, there's nothing really to go with it. There's no like dipping sauce. I'm sure you could ask for something on the side. You probably have to pay for it. BK doesn't give away free sauces last time I checked. After many years, apparently many petitions, I guess, from people that I guess wanted this back, probably people affiliated with a company that makes these for job security. I totally understand. But on a scale of one to 10, honestly, these are like a two and a half. They're really not that great. I'm so sorry. I wanted these to be super fire, super awesome. Bring it to you and give them a total 10. But really, for what they are, I mean, 
I think the only reason they didn't get like a one or even a two is just because of the price. There's not a whole lot here though. I'd much rather just have their hash rounds than these cheesy tots. If you can spare five minutes for this video, you can probably spare $1.99 to go out and check them out yourself. But just like with the last couple of gimmicks that Burger King has put out, I just haven't been overly impressed. But I think it's an exciting thing. I like the marketing they did with it. I love Napoleon Dynamite. The film is uh, one of my favorites, a cult classic. Hey Pedro, are you done with your tots? So yeah, two and a half on the uh, new BK Cheesy Tots. Thanks again everybody for checking out another great review here on Fast Food Pit Stops. I'm your host Justin. You know you love it. You came back for some more of it. I'll be back for another fast food review. Bye everybody.